Anytime our body is exposed to something new or a new virus like this one, what it does is mount an immune response against it. That response can be pretty complex and can even sometimes cause problems. But ultimately, if your body successfully fights off the virus, it will be through the production of the antibodies that we're testing for. We have an amazing team of pathology, virology, and laboratory workers at Mount Sinai, and some of them have developed a serum antibody assay to the COVID-19 virus. So it is a blood test that looks to see whether a person has developed an immune response to COVID-19, and then they're able to take the blood sample and see how strong of an immune response somebody has developed. And if their response was on the stronger part of the spectrum, they are potentially eligible to donate their plasma through a partnership that Mount Sinai has with the New York Blood Center that we will then hope to use to potentially treat patients who are very sick with COVID-19. So to be a donor for this program, you would not only have to have had the virus, completely recovered from the virus and made the antibody response, you need to be a healthy blood donor and meet all the qualifications that we currently follow for any other type of blood donation. So the plasma that we make, we'll, we'll collect it by a process called apheresis, which allows us to take just the plasma and return back the cells of the donor. So that also allows us to get two, three, or sometimes even four units of plasma from one donor so that we could potentially help as many as three or four patients on the other end. Those units are then screened for infectious diseases as any other donation would be done. Right now, the main way that patients can receive the plasma is through something called an emergency IND, granted to a hospital for a specific patient by the FDA. Emergency INDs are being given for patients that are hospitalized and have severe disease. We're seeing more and more COVID positive patients every day. The medical establishment, everybody, the whole team has sprung into action, is working hard to take the best possible care of these patients. This is a process that has been used in the past for different viruses. Some have been successful, some have not. Right now, we're very early on in this, and we're watching these patients very carefully and hope to be able to report out on our experience over the next few weeks. The best time to test for these antibodies is about three weeks after you got sick or three weeks after you had a positive COVID test. And no one knows yet how long those antibodies will last, though we are all hopeful that they will last for some time. There's still a lot of people working on perfecting who will benefit from this, how much plasma will be beneficial, exactly at what time frame. We have information from China, and there are two reports, one for 10 patients and one for five patients that are consistent with it working, um, although it's not entirely clear the role that convalescent plasma played. But those are important papers for us because they give us hope for optimism and to continue to try to use this product and it also didn't show any safety concerns in those patients. No one has been immune to this disease. It's new to our entire population. Our hospital teams, staff, doctors, nurses, everybody are trying to give the best possible care to patients. But as you are hearing and seeing on the news, if we are overrun with patients, it limits our ability to do the best that we can for people. Please stay home. Please limit the spread of this disease. It gives us time to use our healthcare resources the best they can. It gives us time to learn more about immunity and about what this, how to treat this disease. And ultimately, hopefully, it will give us time to build vaccines and other things that will really change the course of this in a more long-term way.